Hi everyone, thank you for having me here. Um, I'm a white skinned woman sitting in um, a sort of loft room um, in London in the dark um, with a bright light behind me. Um, and yeah, it's really nice to be here and to see some familiar faces, but many that I don't know. Um, and yeah, I don't really know what to say in, in, a, in amongst everything else that has been said over these three days, but I suppose I wanted to be here as someone that is trying to fund some of this work and, and in the hope that there might be other funders either here or that are out there in the world that might listen to this afterwards because we have a responsibility to think about how we resource some of these kind of initiatives and conversations and I'm really um, interested in how funding can become a kind of catalyzing force for people to imagine things that they would not have been able to imagine otherwise and to be able to act upon that imagination. And I think too often funding becomes about projects um, and individual things. And we've been exploring in the UK um, an emerging futures fund, which is the ambition of which is to create a kind of imagination infrastructure. And that sounds very grand. And I don't think we know yet exactly what that means, but we're definitely experimenting with it. And it feels very relevant to this conversation because, you know, in the same way we've had spaces, although they might be quite challenged at the moment for like deliberative democracy, like there's lots of infrastructure that has played a role in democracy. How can that now also be important in terms of imagining alternatives and and i really believe it's that imagining that we need um and i also just wanted to pick up on something that sophia noble said earlier about rather than being obsessed with the future of technology we need to be focused on the future of human beings um and obviously by extension i would say communities and all living systems and i feel like any funders um that fund technology can jump too quickly sometimes to the immediate and the obvious um, and don't think enough about the second and third order consequences or the unit of the collective of the community and not just the individual. Um, so there's lots that I've learned from this and there's lots that I hope other funders um, can take away from this. And I was just gonna finish um, by reading something um, by Carl Sagan, I'm probably saying that wrong. And I kind of mind that I'm I'm ending on a on a quote by a, a white man. Um, no offense to the white men, but it there's something that doesn't feel quite right. Um, but I just think it's really important for this conversation. Many of the dangers we face indeed arise from science and technology, but more fundamentally, because we have become powerful without becoming consummentally, consummentally wise. The world altering powers that technology has delivered into our hands now require a degree of consideration and foresight that has never been asked of us. Thank you for having me. And I look forward to carrying on the conversation in Europe because um, we definitely want to do one of these there.